What if our government had the power to send children away from their families? To an institution where they would be indoctrinated into a new culture that wasn't their own. With a new language, clothing, customs, forced to give up the identity they were born with. And there was a very immediate, often quite harsh, physical processing. Removing what folks called their home clothes, being issued GI, government issue uniforms, being scrubbed within an inch of your life. If this were to happen today, public outrage would be swift and ferocious. But for several generations of Native Americans, that was the reality in the late 19th and mid 20th centuries. And there was no public outcry. The voices of American Indians weren't heard. This was the boarding school era with the infamous slogan, kill the Indian, save the man. The whole boarding school generation has so many different stories and you'll have people that are forthcoming with talking about it and others who don't want to talk about it at all. It's been swept under the rug for many, many years. And it's time that it be told, the truth be told, not what you read in the history books. I was seven when I went to school. My mother dropped me off there and I didn't know where she went. So I went looking for her and I couldn't find her. I don't know what prison's like, but it was just like you was a prison. The first two weeks of school, being away from home for the first time, was the worst time in my life. They took me to this room and said this was my place. And that night when I went to sleep, I cried for two weeks for my mother. And I heard the train. I heard the train whistle blowing. And to this day, every time I hear a train, I think of that night. And it still makes me lonesome. And they're trying to make make you over to somebody that you can never be. No matter how, how hard they try, no matter what they do, you're still gonna be who you are. And it's in your heart, it's in your blood. By all accounts, the Native American boarding school era was a complete failure in U.S. Indian policy and a horrific, even shameful time in American history. Stories of abuse, humiliation, even death are all part of the boarding school narrative. There is no question the goal of the U.S. government was to destroy tribal culture and communities, to annihilate the remains of tribal identity. The purpose of the federal policies of assimilation at that time were to be a, quote, pulverizing engine that would smash tribalism in all of its forms. The U.S. government, their goals were the same as they always were when it came to federal Indian policy. It's to assimilate Indian people into the greater society. By exerting power and control over tribal governments and then breaking up the landmass. In Oklahoma, it was called allotment.